Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ryan. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. In this video, I want to show you the Xiaomi Mi Box 3 international version, an amazing TV box sent by Gearbest for me to review. A friend of mine also recommended this box. He said, you need to try this. It's the best box on the market for the money you will be surprised and i said okay i'll share my experience with my viewers let me show you guys what this box is all about so let's start with a quick unboxing as you can see the packaging of my xiaomi mi 3 it's not orange as the ones i've seen online but i guess this is okay um so it comes with the hdmi cable branded by xiaomi in the box is also a power adapter and a voice remote control uh, it works via bluetooth so you don't need to point straight to the tv box to make it work i like it minimalistic design deserves a thumbs up moving on on the back of the box we can see some specs like the 4k ultra hd support at 60 fps the dts audio decode and this box supports HDR. I will cover the rest of the specs in a minute. Let me now show you the design of the box, which in my opinion is very good, a very slick, minimalistic design, which I like. On the back of the box, the IO is not much, so you have a 3.5 millimeter audio out, HDMI 2.0, one USB port 2.0, and that's it that's all you get <laughs> on the bottom of the box there's a rubber to prevent the box to slip okay enough said let's plug the box to the tv Okay, let's turn the box on for the first time and you are presented with a configuration menu where you can pick your language, set your Google account. Remember, this is a device that uses Android TV OS, which is optimized for digital media players and was developed by Google. And there you have it, guys, the home screen. This is at the moment running 6.0. I just want to show you the menus out of the box and we're going to update it straight away. Let me just really quick show you the resolution, for example, plenty of it. Of course, we're gonna tune this up all the way to the max. Let's pick the 4K resolution, HDR, what else we have? We have, of course, Google Cast, which means you can send anything from your, not anything, but every time you see that logo, for example, on YouTube, you can send it from your mobile phone to the box. And the storage, this box comes with eight gigs of internal storage and we'll be left with 4.7 gigs to play with. Let's have a look at the about, like I mentioned before, the version is 6.0.1 and the last security patch was in October the 1st of 2016, quite old. So let's update it. Luckily we can do it. And now we're going to update it to Android TV OS, of course, 8.0 Oreo version. Okay, all finished. Now running the latest version of the OS let's have a look at the home screen now the box will show you what's new google assistant good stuff then you have it guys the home screen apps will be on top then we have the play next netflix red bull tv and youtube you can also customize what you want to see on screen you can turn on or off an app for example if you want google play music you need to turn it on netflix if you don't use it turn it off we're gonna see it in a minute red bull tv for example i don't use it i will just turn it off and so on um 
it makes sense to turn off the apps you don't need. It will make the box run faster because this box only has two gigs of RAM. I do recommend turn off what you don't use. Let's have now a, um, a quick look at the um, Google Play Store. And because you're running Android TV OS, the Google Play Store is limited. You only see the apps that are supposedly recommend to use on the media player device. Nevertheless, let's have a quick look what's available. Feature apps, movies and TV. Let me just really quick update Netflix. We have the top selling top paid apps, some games of course, IPTV, I'll show you a game in a minute, top free apps. You can also sideload apps on this device, just need to download the APK and install it. I'm going to show you in a minute that as well. Regarding the storage after the update, remember this comes with 8 gigs of, of RAM of storage and we'll be left with 4.4 gigs only, a bit less than before. On the about section, there you have it Android 8.0, last security patch July 2018. For those who don't want to use English, this is the language is available. I'm sure you'll find your language there. Okay, next, let's put the box to the test in the real world. Let's launch YouTube. 4K footage, of course. Let's see how this box copes with it. Let's pick this one. This is real time video, it's not speed up. <laughs> yes, no problems whatsoever running this type of footage. I think the box is asking for more. This is nothing. Let's have a look at the resolution. I mean, the quality, yeah, 4K. I guess you won't have any problem running 4K YouTube videos on this TV box. Yeah, I'm impressed with this TV box. Um, regarding the specs, remember guys, this box can output 4K at 60 FPS. The CPU is a quad-core Cortex-A53 running at 2.0 GHz. The GPU is a Mali 450. It has 2 gigs of RAM and 8 gigs of internal storage. Regarding the connectivity, it has Wi-Fi, dual band 2.4 and the 5 GHz and it has Bluetooth 4.0. Now let's have a look at Amazon. I sideload this app with, because it's not available on the, the Google Play Store. I do have a problem with the app. When I try to play any title, it does start, but after a while, it stops. So I don't know why this happens. I just want to show you. If you are buying this box to watch Prime Video, I do not recommend it. Yeah, it just it bounces back. Sometimes you can play a bit of the clip. But it jumps straight away. So, yeah. Don't use this box for Amazon Prime Video. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. Please let me know in the comments if you manage to do it. Okay, now Netflix. Let's have a look at Netflix. Oh, uh, one thing, guys, if you, for in my case, for example, to have 4K available on Netflix, I had to change the resolution of the box to 4K at 60 Hz. That's how I managed to get the Ultra HD 4K available for Netflix. Again, this box has no problem whatsoever playing this type of resolution. I don't want to get a copyright on this one, so I'm just going to show you a bit. No video stuttering, no frames dropped, very fluid. Yeah, I'm say, I, I like this box, guys. There's nothing to point, nothing to mention, just does the job as it should any resolution let me pick another title let me try to find another 4k 
it's important to note that this box only uses Wi-Fi, there's no cable connectivity, so if you have this box on the other side of your house, you, got, you might get some buffering, although I don't have any issue with this, and I read online people on, uh, saying this box has excellent Wi-Fi connectivity. My case, for example, we're playing 4K footage um, using my Wi-Fi network, and it's it's pretty good. This is real-time video. Hope to be 19 again. With the yeah, Netflix. Remember 19? It's excellent on this TV you, box. Juices are falling, the red Netflix is... and YouTube so far, no problems whatsoever. Okay, let me show you now the voice commands. 4K video. 4K video. You just need to ask and Google Assistant will search for you. You can ask for the weather and to open apps, uh, etc. Search for Tom Cruise films. Okay, guys, let's do a few more tests. I know the video is quite long now, but we need to test this, right? So next, let's play some games. Let's try a, a pretty light game, let's put it that way. This is real-time loading, I'm not speeding the video up. Look at those skills, guys. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's try again. Keep watching this video. Don't click on that next video. <laughs> okay, moving on. Let's try a heavier game. Let's play Asphalt 8, quite heavy game, please don't mind my skills. The Mi Box can run this game quite good, not as good as my skills, but <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's bad though, guys, I don't think it's bad to be honest. You can put the box in your pocket, go to a friend's house, have some games there. Yeah, not bad at all, not bad. For the money, this Xiaomi Mi 3 TV box is pretty good. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can have a look. Sometimes Gearbest do some nice deals on these boxes, so have a look. Okay guys, let's do now a speed test, the internet connection. It's quite important test because we only have Wi-Fi for this. In this place we have around 107 megabits download and around 6 to 7 upload. This box, as you can see, is using everything it can get, is using the full broadband speed. This is good news, this is, this is good. Thumbs up for, <laughs> for this box. <laughs> okay guys, final test, let's play some files from an external device, in this case a USB stick. We'll be having a look at some different file type. This is an MP4 4K. And again, no problems whatsoever for the Mi Box. It's playing the file perfectly. Nothing to worry about. Next, let's play a .ts file 4K as well. Again, no problems. There's not much negative points for this box. Probably just the limitation of the Google Play Store, but people say that you can sideload apps, so. Let's try another one. Now a MKV file 4K as well, of course. And please guys, remember this box supports Dolby Digital Plus and DTS Multi-Channel HD audio encoding. 
Let's have a look at this file. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me push this forward a bit. Yeah, no problems whatsoever. And I think, guys, it's time to wrap this video. It's been a long one. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you guys want to have a look at this Xiaomi Mi Box 3 international version, which I think, in my opinion, it offers a lot for the money. The specs are good. It can run 4K at 60 FPS easy as the DTS audio encoding. Even the design of the box is good. Yes, I do recommend this box, of course. And guys, if you do recommend this video, please leave it a thumbs up. It took me uh, quite a while to do it, to be honest. Share it. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate that. It really helped this channel to grow. I have more videos prepared for you. Stay tuned to the next one. And I hope I can see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.